Filipino women are still naive to this day. It's unlikely that she's unable to receive or read your messages for a day or longer. In many ways, dating a Filipino woman is similar to dating women from other cultures. She's always on the... Again? Indifference is a telltale sign of lack of interest that is easily recognizable. She might have actually said yes to hanging out with you or to a date, but she always wants to bring friends along. They'll allow you to court them, but will make no promises. Hey, it's Mira Beauty! In today's video, outlines four legit reasons why a Filipino woman you're interested in may not want to date you, and signs that indicate you should stop pursuing her right away. Dating can be challenging these days because there are numerous rituals and hoops that men have to navigate before they can establish a relationship. It's possible that you may believe you and the woman are already in a relationship, but she may not share the same perception. Making an effort to make legal or to pursue or to court a Filipino woman does not guarantee that you are in a relationship with her. Sometimes she may have difficulty making up her mind or she may be too kind to tell you directly that she has no intention of going out with you anymore. So why should you stop pursuing your Filipina? Before you decide to use these signs as a guide to cuddle ties with a girl that you like, you have to look at things from her perspective. I mean, really, why wouldn't she want to date you if you're such an amazing guy? I've got some theories. Number one, you're not her type. Sorry, but that's the truth. Just because you have a fit body, you're wealthy, and you have a good sense of humor, it doesn't necessarily mean that a Filipino woman will automatically be attracted to you. If she has had prior experiences with foreign men, she may be looking for specific qualities beyond what I mentioned. And everyone has unique preferences for the type of person they want to be with. These preferences can be influenced by factors such as their upbringing and environment. For example, someone may have a preference for a particular race, particular body type, height, or level of intellect. If a Filipino woman is hard to please, it could be simply because you don't meet her standards. So pursuing her may be pointless. Number two, it's not that deep for her. This is true for some women. A girl might string you along just for fun or just because they're bored, she may be a big flirt or an attention seeker. Either way, her show of affection for you never runs deep. She's playing games and she likes how you're responding to it. Number three, she's too nice to say no. Mm, I think a lot of Filipino women are still naive to this day and too nice to say no. I'll not deny it. Girls with this type of mindset should probably realize that it's more damaging to prolong the agony of the rejection. Instead of just telling a guy to move on, they'll allow you to court them, but will make no promises. Such a girl is honestly leading you nowhere yet doesn't want to hurt your feelings, so she'll rather be nice and have you think whatever you want to. Sad truth, but it happens. Okay, so now that these are established, what are the signs that you need to stop pursuing a girl you like immediately. Okay, listen, some men find it hard to distinguish between a Filipina who's not interested in a Filipina who's playing hard to get. She may or may not like you, but you'll never know unless you really open your eyes. Look out for these following signs and stop pursuing your Filipina immediately. Number one, when she replies to text, DMs, and emails with closed answers, let me break this down for a moment. Don't mistake this for the popular passive-aggressive letter K that she sends you when you send her something. I mean, the girl doesn't even respect you enough to write a full OK at this point. Please note that she's merely entertaining you and things are really not how you think they are. If a girl is not interested, she'll do everything she can to stop the conversation in its tracks. Don't entertain that. Number two, when she's always busy. Respecting a person's priorities is important, especially if you're not in a relationship with them. If a girl has a lot going on in her life, she may not be ready to date. However, a woman who is genuinely interested in you will likely make an effort to adjust her schedule to fit you in, whether it's for brunch, dinner, or any other activity you have planned. Number three, she agrees to date but cancels last minute. You may begin to notice that something always seems to come up right before your scheduled date. While it's understandable if the woman has genuine scheduling conflicts, if this has happened multiple times, it's time to take a hint. She may not be interested in you, so it's best to stop pursuing her. Number four, she's always on the... What are you saying again? 
are you saying again? When you're together. Now in this day and age of smartphones, people are almost always glued to their phones. But this shouldn't be the case when you're on a date. If you notice that the person you're with is more interested in their phone than in spending time with you, it's a clear sign that they care more about what's happening on their phone than being present in the moment with you. Unless you can take photos of her and post them on social media or live to your date, you're pretty much useless to her at that point in time. I've seen this scenario too many times in restaurants around BGC, and mostly they are older men dating young Filipino women. If she's showing this sign, stop pursuing her. Even if she's young and she has the greatest bikini body, don't let yourself get hurt. Number five, she never picks up your call when you call first. Look, you can come up with all the excuses in the book when a woman never answers your call. It's simply because there's someone else who has her attention. It's either that or she's up to something she doesn't want you to know about. How come she never answers your call in the first attempt? Mind you, in the previous points we talked about how she's always on her phone when she's with you. If you can't put on her phone when she's with you, when she's home and alone, she'll most likely have her phone close by or with her. So not answering your calls when you call is a downright shady move. If you're not lucky, she won't even return your calls for days at a time. Which brings us to the next pointer. Number six, if the girl you're dating has access to technology, it's unlikely that she's unable to receive or read your messages for a day or longer. It's more likely that she's choosing not to reply or engage in a conversation. Don't make excuses for her behavior. If she is active on social media and technology savvy, she should have time to respond to you. That is if she's interested. Only if she's interested. When you begin to notice these signs, it's best to stop pursuing her right away. Number seven, she's feeding you leftovers. And I don't expect you to take this pointer literally. If she's entertaining you, just enough to keep you interested, but will not commit to anything meaningful over a period of time. I'll tell you straight, this girl's up to no good. Women have a way of giving men just enough to keep men coming back by giving them scraps of attention. She manages to keep you hanging on because she's probably keeping you as a backup until she finds the one. You know, when someone breadcrumbs another person, they give them just enough attention to make them think they like them. But that's all. It's just crumbs. Don't entertain it. You're being used at this point. Number eight, she sounds uninterested. So indifference is a telltale sign of lack of interest that is easily recognizable. You can usually tell when someone is unenthusiastic by their glassy eyes, monotone voice, and general appearance of boredom when you talk on the phone or in person. These are definite signs that she's not interested. If she's showing these signs, she's probably not rejecting you because she thinks it's too much work. It might be best give this Filipina a break and move on. Number nine, she never initiates anything. Now, maybe it may not be apparent to you initially because your feelings of love or lust are clouding your judgment. But over time, you may begin to realize that she never initiates contact with you, such as texts, calls, or making plans to see each other. This realization may leave you feeling that if you don't reach out first, you may never hear from her again. Number 10. She blows hot and cold. This situation can be confusing because sometimes she appears to be very interested in you, but other times she seems disinterested. It's possible that she enjoys the attention from you when she's showing interest, but when she's distant, she may be receiving attention from other men as well. Number 11. She always has to check her schedule. Now, if you ask her to hang out or go on an official date, and she frequently responds with a line, um, I'll check my schedule and see but then conveniently forgets to let you know. <laughs> That's a sign you should take the hint. She may not be interested and is using this as an excuse to avoid turning you down directly. Number 12, she avoids physical touch. Now, if you're sitting on a couch or walking alongside each other and she makes sure that she keeps a distance between you two, I mean, she doesn't initiate hugs or any other physical touch. She doesn't like it that much, okay? Even if, let's say, Filipinas are traditional and they don't like public display of affection, that's true. But if she really likes you, she's not gonna constantly keep the distance from you. 
Number 13, she prefers to see you in groups. She might have actually said yes to hanging out with you or to a date, but she always wants to bring friends along or she invites you anywhere that you can be sure there will be groups there. She does this because she's trying to avoid hanging out with you one-on-one. -on -one. In many ways, dating a Filipino woman is similar to dating women from other cultures. But there may be some cultural differences that you should be aware of. Like, you know, Filipinos don't like public display of affection. It's an embarrassing thing to do here. That is just one. It's important to be respectful of these cultural values when dating a Filipino woman and take the time to understand and appreciate her background and traditions. Additionally, language and communication can sometimes be a challenge in cross-cultural relationships, you know that. So it's important to be patient and understanding with each other. And that pretty much ends it, but in conclusion, should you stop pursuing this Filipino girl for good? If you're putting in a lot of effort to get a Filipina to like you back, but she's showing all the signs of this interest that I just mentioned, then it's time to give up. While some girls may be worth the wait, many don't want guys they're not interested in to bother waiting. You shouldn't settle for someone who doesn't want the same things you do, as it's just a big waste of your time. Imagine how sad it would be to realize that you didn't notice the Filipina who actually liked you because you were too busy chasing someone who didn't give you the time of day. So instead, give your love to a woman who actually wants it. I hope this video was helpful and if it was, a like would be much appreciated. I'll see you in the next video. Bye! Women are already in a relationship. But she may not share the same. But she may not share the same perception. But she may not share the same perception. Hmm.